A 22-year-old man comes to the office due to skin lesions. The patient noticed a non-painful, non-pruritic skin bump on his right knee three months ago, which progressively increased in size and number. He has no prior health issues and takes no medications. The patient is outdoors frequently for work and recreational activities. He is sexually active. Physical examination findings are shown in the exhibit. The question is which of the following microbial organisms is most likely responsible for this patient's current condition? Your options are A. Coxsackie virus B. Herpes simplex virus C. Human papillomavirus D. Neisseria gonorrhea E. Pox virus F. Treponema pallidum Type your answer in the comment box. Congratulations if your answer is C, which is human papillomavirus. This patient has cutaneous warts, Veruca vulgaris, presenting as painless, skin-colored papules with a dry, whitish surface. Warts may be single or multiple and can also form irregular plaques or complex filiform structures. The diagnosis of cutaneous warts is usually made on inspection. Although a magnified view, that is dermatoscopy, can be helpful and typically reveals small black dots representing thrombos capillaries. Cutaneous warts are caused by human papillomavirus, which is also the cause of plantar warts and anogenital warts, that is condyloma acuminata. Infection is most prevalent in children, adolescents, and young adults and is usually acquired through direct contact. Immunosuppressed patients, for example HIV infection, are at increased risk and often develop numerous, large lesions. Although the HPV family is associated with an increased risk for mucosal squamous cell carcinoma, for example cervical cancer, this is primarily related to high-risk HPV types, example 16, and 18. Most cutaneous warts are due to low-risk types, example 2, and 4, and malignant transformation is rare. If you chose any option other than C, you are incorrect. Let's briefly discuss the other options. Choice A. Coxsackie virus is the most common etiologic agent in hand foot and mouth disease, which is characterized by low-grade fever and vesicles or ulcers on the oral mucosa and skin, especially hands and feet. Chronic papules are more consistent with cutaneous warts. Choice B. Herpes simplex virus causes herpetic whitlow, which presents acutely with a prodrome of burning or tingling followed by single or multiple vesicles on an erythematous face. Choice D. Disseminated gonococcal infection causes a pustular or bullous rash, which commonly involves both the extremities and torso. It is typically associated with tenosynovitis and migratory polyarthralgia. Choice E. Molluscum contagiosum is caused by a pox virus. Although it commonly presents as small papules, the lesions are smooth, pearly, and umbilicated, unlike the rough, dry lesions in this patient. Choice F. Condyloma lata is a manifestation of secondary syphilis, caused by Treponema pallidum. Although it may present as Verrucci-form lesions, it is often associated with fever and lymphadenopathy and is most common on the oral mucosa or genital area near the site of primary infection. If you're finding this difficult to understand, consider watching this episode again.